when you're at the house, keys, right? Have a system for a photo, for a scope in the house and photographing the same order. Write your scope as you go, right? And just write down, right? This window is broken. This is a aluminum window. This is a wood window, right? It's a casement, one casement window, right? Write that on a piece of paper, right? With the insured's name on it, right? It's your scope sheet. Draw a diagram if you need to. Take your photos. Before you leave the house, this is the one absolutely critical thing that you need to do, and that is... Adjuster TV. It's five o'clock somewhere. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Adjuster TV Plus. Or two together. Import and label your photos and then write your inspection diary while you're sitting there. If, you, if you're required to do an inspection diary, right? You may not be. Um, but if you are, don't leave it till that night or three days later. Do it then because it's going to stop the clock on your inspection metric in exact analysis. And when you get those photos in there, then... If you're sitting in front of the house, don't go around the corner. I hear people say this, well, just, you know, get jump in your car and pull around the corner so the insured can't come out and bug you. You want the insured to bug you for reasons, but where you're st you, you still want to be at the house for other reasons. And the main reason is, is because you're sitting there importing and labeling your photos. Ah, I forgot the risk photo. You have to have the risk photo in the file on any claim that you ever do on, as a property adjuster. Oops, I forgot to get uh, some overview shots and shots of the damage on the back slope. You left your ladder up on the house before you leave, right? So go back up on that roof and get those photos, right? Complete file. If you need to refer to your photos later to when you're writing the estimate, in addition to your handwritten scope, then you've got, the, you've got a full set of photos there and you're like not making it up because you're like, oh shoot. Or the measurements, right? I didn't, those awnings, I don't think I wrote down the measurements for those. Jump, jump out and get those measurements because if you make it up later, you're gonna be wrong. Straight up, right? And the more wrong you are, the more, the less likely your, your chances of getting more claims. And the, your ultimate goal is to get more claims. And the only way you get more claims is by closing Close claims. claims, not by getting out there and going on a scoping rampage and thinking, well, you know, hey, listen, you know, I can't, I'm, I'm busy, I'm scoping, right? And then you're not closing claims. Your manager doesn't care what you're doing. The only thing they care about is that closed files are coming in, okay? Not a manager so in history down. said, I want that guy back because he could scope a lot of claims. Yeah, nobody cares about that. They only care. Nobody. You could scope. I mean, there are hot rods out there that could scope 15 in a day. No problem. And you probably could yourself if you got your system down. But if you can't close all those in the same day, you're, you're wasting everybody's time. Especially, I'm lazy. I don't, don't want to do that. Right? I do my freaking yeah. five. I'm happy. You're going to be, yeah, you're going to be the guy or gal that's six weeks into the storm, you know, 12 weeks into the storm, who is already gotten a bunch of new files. You're getting new files from people who washed out in the first and second and third weeks, right? And they got to redistribute those. If you're closing files, your files from the first day, even if it's one a day for, for first, my calendar that I give my students is one a day for the first three days, paper day, two a day for the next three days, paper day, three a day for the next, you know, whatever makes sense for, you know, however fast you can ramp up, but always predicated by that speed limit of, if you can't close realistic, realistically, not like, well, I think I might be, realistically, you can close whatever you scope that day. By the end of that day, even if it's at one o'clock in the morning, that's your speed limit. If it's three or four, then you stop there. You're not in a huge hurry. This this stuff adds up. And if you if you do the math with it, and if you look at like, all right, well, one a day for three days, two a day for three days, blah, 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 blah you can close 50 claims in three weeks if you do it right. Coming up on Adjuster TV. 